Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about two different hip hinging variations. Uh, these are pretty simple in the complexity of the movements, um, but you might choose them for different reasons. They look very similar though. So first one, the Romanian deadlift. Basically I am keeping my knees soft, not totally stiff and straight, but pretty soft, pretty straight. Um, and I bend over just like this. That's the normal RDL. Other variation, the single leg RDL. Let's try to do this without falling. That's not too bad. Hey, look at that. I feel so stable. Okay, so why would I pick up one leg? <sighs> well, big things are I'm going to limit the load that I can use if I am on one leg. I need more stabilizing musculature to keep my balance. And so I'm gonna put a little bit more premium on that. So if I am training the, the stability patterns of my hip and of you know how that translates into hip motion and not low back motion, then it may be very, very appropriate. That may be the, the variation that I wanna stick with. If I'm just looking for a way to load hamstrings, either way is pretty good, but if load is important and if size and fatigue is important, then I'm probably gonna put a little bit of emphasis on the two leg variation. Now, that's not to say I can't do both, even within the same workout. They have different, uh, different properties. So biggest difference, when I pick one foot up, my body wants to fall, okay? Pick that foot up, my body wants to fall. It doesn't happen very quickly as you're seeing, but it does eventually ramp me over. I pull my, if my center of mass is here between my feet and I pick one foot up, I'm gonna fall, okay? So instead, the first thing that must happen is I must shift my weight over the leg that will stay down and then pick the other leg up. Now, this is kind of just intuitive to everyone when they do it, but as, as somebody who's evaluating a movement, you need to understand that specifically because then we can talk about why do people do it different ways. So something more optimal would be, I'm gonna turn my hips this way, I'm gonna let my shoulder sink down a little bit on this side, and I'm gonna get really heavy on the foot that stays down. Okay, and then I can pick it up and I can stay pretty stable here and all is well. I feel my heel in the ground, I feel my hamstring turn on, my glute is here supporting me. Other ways that people will do it, they'll adopt more of an upper body listing uh, kind of compensation pattern. So instead of really shifting over and setting myself here, what people end up doing is they'll tilt at their back and hold themselves like this. And so I can keep my balance on my right foot and maybe this is appropriate for you if you don't have X, Y, and Z muscles. If you don't, like if you have severed your glute max or your glute medius uh, and they can't support you on that leg, this will take the tension off of the hip, puts it onto the back. I can feel my back getting really tight over here on the left side, <laughs> the things I do for you, but it will, it will allow me to still stand on one leg. And that is the goal of the exercise, right? If I'm, if I'm stating it that way to, to most people. For me, if I'm giving you this exercise, my goal is probably to teach you how to extend your hip without extending your back, right? I want you to get a good position down here and I want you to finish this way feel your butt muscle turn on and not lean back to get that. I don't want your back to get super tight from doing all this. I want you to feel like you're driving from your hip, okay? So the other big change when I do this, as long as I'm not doing this listing thing, I, mean, I kind of mentioned it, but you get a good gluteus medius turn on. And so what we often see is people have trouble controlling their knees in deadlifting and squatting variations. Sometimes you even get some issues when you're walking and you can uh, check that out with a gait analysis, but providing some stability from the hip through this glute muscle allows me to really oppose gravity and hold a nice position. So that's the difference, single leg RDL versus the RDL.